the issue I wanted to raise was around the flu vaccine, um, and in particular the availability of flu vaccines uh, with GPs and pharmacists up, uh, up and down the land. I'm sure all deputies have had contact. I myself have been talking to my local pharmacist in Tremor, and he said he's fully up to date in terms of his returns for the vaccines. He has a waiting list of 200 people. He's already identified the people on that waiting list that he'd like to prioritise in terms of underlying health conditions. But he's in a position now where he cannot order additional vaccine. And as far as he's concerned, it's the first time in his career that he's been unable to make an order to have vaccine in stock within his pharmacy. Um, so we have a number of issues here. The first issue is in relation to the release of the, the the last 5,000 doses. So I understand it was 1.35 uh, million doses of the flu vaccine that were ordered this year. We have then the, uh, the unresolved issue, I suppose, of 600,000, which maybe the returns haven't been kept up to date for. But we have to acknowledge that pharmacists and GPs are extremely busy at the minute. So I don't think we should leave them shoulder any of the blame of not maybe having the administrative work put back in in time to release the extra 50,000 doses. And I think as a matter of urgency, we have to release those last 50,000 doses. But there's also the issue of, in fact, having more available. We know that having COVID and the flu at the same time is very much a, a health threatening situation. So is there availability within the international market for us to get our hands on extra doses so that we can First of all, facilitate the release of the 50,000 doses that are still in the country, but then beyond that, to secure extra doses so that we can, we can cater to the increased demand that we're seeing for, for the flu vaccine this year. Morgan, I'd like to thank both deputies for raising this issue, and I, I too am aware of this issue, uh, and certainly glad that they've raised it, because it gives the government an opportunity to set out what's been done in what's a massive operation this year uh, to get the flu vaccine out, on, on completely unprecedented, in fact. Uh, 1.3 million of the 1.35 million doses of the flu vaccine available this winter have already been distributed to GPs, pharmacists and other vaccination sites since early October. And the Minister, uh, by the way, apologises for not being here, but he also informs me that all of those deliveries have been properly recorded, just to answer Deputy Amorok's point. In addition, 420,000 doses of the LAIV for administration to children between 2 and 12 have also being distributed. As we are now nearing the end of the supply, the HSE wrote this week to GPs and pharmacists to indicate that the final 50,000 doses would be held back until greater clarity could be achieved on how the doses already distributed have been used. GPs and pharmacists, as, as the deputies have acknowledged, have been incredibly busy this year and have done tremendous work and want to thank them. Um, increasing the number of vaccines administered in very difficult circumstances. Already, GPs and pharmacists have submitted almost 80% more claims than in the same period last year, including 35% more claims for those over 65 in the same period last year. That's very positive. Nonetheless, given the particular circumstances prevailing, it's important that the HSE has as clear a picture as possible before allocating the final 50,000 uh, doses available for use in order to ensure that they can be targeted where they will have the biggest impact in line with the priorities that set out by the WHO for this year's vaccination campaign. That picture depends on claims from GPs and pharmacists, but also on information from hospitals, nursing homes and other relevant locations. So distribution of the final 50,000 doses will start at the end of this month. This year's flu vaccination campaign will see significantly more people receive the vaccine in Ireland than ever before. Assuming the current trends carry through, at least 350,000 more individuals in at-risk groups will receive the vaccine this winter than last. In addition, over 100,000 children have already received the vaccine that's been provided without charge for the first time. This will increase significantly in the coming weeks. Deliveries of the vaccine from the manufacturer, of course, were not as quick as we would have liked due to the challenging inter international market and unprecedented times we're in. It's also true that demand is there. People are answering the call to get vaccinated, and that demand is unprecedented. This is the case everywhere in Europe and beyond, and in this context, it's unlikely the HSC and the Minister believes that additional supply will become available. This reinforces the message that given the finite supply of the vaccine, 
it's important that even the increased quantities which we have this year, that they're targeted where they will have the greatest impact, benefiting the individuals concerned and helping reduce the pressure on the health system. Thank you, uh, thank you Minister, for that response. I'm, I'm disappointed to hear that we're going to be unable to um, source extra vaccines. However, and I suppose maybe this is a, approaching the issue slightly tangentially, perhaps what we need to do is leverage uh, in a better way that which we do have, and I was, you did make reference to the, the children's vaccine, which is still available. And I know it's uh, free at the point of use. Uh, I know that there's plenty of it available, or at least that's what I'm advised. Um, so perhaps the government needs to think about an awareness raising campaign on this. We know that, um, thankfully, unlike COVID, that um, the flu is often, often finds a reservoir among our younger population. So let's, let's use what we have, let's leverage what we have, communicate better that this is available and free at the point of contact, which will hopefully allow us to break the chain of transmission um, and maybe help protect some of the older and more vulnerable people with our within our communities by stopping the spread and transmission of the virus. So that might be something that we can think about going forward. Minister Byrne. Yeah, uh, again, thanks very much uh, to the deputies. And look, it is a crucially important issue. And I'm glad to see people talking positively about vaccines, because there are a lot of cranks out there, quite frankly, on the internet who are just rubbishing anything at all in relation to vaccines without looking at the science and without, in fact, wasting, waiting in the context of the, the COVID vaccine uh, for the clinical trials to complete, because they're not complete yet. Um, on, on the issue of ordering more, and this is a point that both, both have raised, look, vaccines, the Minister uh, asked me to inform you, are ordered well in advance. So the HSE this year placed its order in February. The HSE order for the 2021 season was 20% greater than the previous year and 35% greater than 1920, uh, than the uptake of 1920. Uh, these figures don't include this, the additional 600,000 doses for children, which would bring to almost 75% the additional number of doses of vaccine available this year. So it's unprecedented the numbers that we are getting vaccinated. But given the demand on the international market for the influenza vaccine, it's not realistically possible, uh, the Minister feels, to procure uh, more vaccine uh, at this point. So the steps being taken at the moment by the HSE to ensure, the are, are to ensure that the vaccinations are delivered to those most needed, where they'll have uh, the greatest impact in light of the international market conditions and in light of the fact that we've unprecedented numbers getting the vaccine. Uh, the full amount, up to 1.35 million, will, will have gone out by the end of this month. Um, the, in relation to the under the 2 to 12 age category, uh, that programme is ongoing and I would like to use this opportunity to really encourage parents who haven't done it yet to contact their GP or pharmacist to arrange a vaccination. The last thing you want is a child coming home who could have been vaccinated uh, with, with flu-like symptoms and maybe the flu but, but having to isolate the whole family uh, for a couple of weeks. So the vaccination is there, uh, it's available and children should get it under 12 and to thank the deputies again for raising the issue. Thank you, Minister.